It seems like the way of the industry. You can't trust anyone. It doesn't seem like anyone has pure intentions. Everything is about the bag. Especially when you're a young artist coming into this game not knowing anything you're easily taken advantage of. In this recent clip from The Crew Has It, Joe decided to talk about the early beginnings of his career and how he was taken advantage of by Jelly Bean Benitez. Man, wrote a clip. So I had got robbed for my publishing when I was very young. Uh, See, yeah. There was a Latino dude stepped to me. His name is Jelly Bean Benitez. And uh, the man gave me $50,000, but he robbed me. This shit was probably worth like 10 million. Yeah, by so, so for the first 15 years of my life, I got robbed by this guy, right? right? And, um, and so when I finally got off that and I owned my own publishing, I used to hear these rumors of or all these artists getting $2 million publishing deals, getting, you know, I'm hearing all this big shit. Right. So I, when I got free, I ran around to be like, yo, let me see if I can get this bag. And when I went to the, looking for the bag, they was like, yo, we got 250 for you. You know, we got 300 for you. Yeah. I was like, yo, you, you know, this, this is after money. what's like big number right. ones in America. Right. So I turned around and then my lawyer at the time, Walked me to the truck and I was like, yo, what's up? I thought dude was getting too many. He was like, yo, Joe, you're not, you're not really hot right now. I said, ooh. I went down to Miami. I went and got Scott Storch. We yes. cooked that bitch up. Yes. Came back up in like two weeks with Lean Back. Then I, mm. then I was show him. So if, if it was Lean Back, imagine you never heard Lean Back. <laughs> And so you a publisher, I would get up there and go, my people don't dance, we just pull up a pants and do the rock away. I lean back. Lean. And, and the minute I did that, people's eyes was like, oh, <laughs> we got the bag, we got the bag. Yeah, because yeah. that shit is just yeah. too catchy. Like, the, how, second, like, the second you made it with Scott Storch, we were like, this is going to be number one. Did you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, this isn't the first time that Joe has spoken about Jelly Bean. In the past, Joe has said much worse on IG Live. He said, yo, I want to do a publishing deal. And gave me $50,000 for my publishing when I was like 19 on some Latino dollar cents. He made millions and millions of dollars off my publishing. It wasn't until just before Lean Back, I got my shit back. But he still owns my early shit. He won't give me a in uh, accounting, he, he's a crook, a straight crook, a piece of shit. Y'all know I won't say that unless he's a piece of shit. He's a crook, a piece of shit. That's it. That's number one Latino love. He also robbed Big Pun. He also robbed Big Pun. Big Pun, we ain't know no better when I signed him. He had to sign the Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean robbed him too. Jelly Bean's a terrible Crook, you should feel terrible if he's your family and you got any love for him. He's a piece of shit, right? Whatever the fuck you want to call this shit. I've, you know, this we talk and we give information. This is not called snitching. This is about people who rob you. This ain't snitching. I've been robbed for millions of dollars. And so I'm trying to educate and be transparent to anybody who listens behind. In the past, Jelly Bean was sued for 10 million over allegedly underreporting revenues from Madonna's publishing. So I wouldn't be surprised if what Joe is saying is true in regards to his own publishing being stolen. Now you guys know I did a video breaking down the lawsuit between Liza Rios and Fat Joe and Jelly Bean. A very solid source told me that Jelly Bean was very afraid of Joe in that situation, and that's why he ended up paying the amount owed to the Rios family on Joe's behalf. But we also know Joe got real goon so I couldn't see Jelly Bean robbing Joe and Joe not retaliating either in the streets or the courtroom so y'all let me know what y'all think about this man put your thoughts down in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe and stay connected with Panda Chop News peace